This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 14, Building an App, Image Scroller, Puzzle 11. Free response. Why refactor? Why is refactoring your code so important? All right, before I dive into this, do not plagiarize. Do not plagiarize my answer. Do you even come close to it? All right, I want to talk about it. I want to discuss it. I want you to think about it and learn um, and come up with your own awesome, awesome answer. I am going to write something. I am going to talk about it. And hopefully it inspires you. I'm sure you'll think of something far greater, but just make sure you're not plagiarizing. All right. That being said, refactoring. So refactoring is that thing we did with functions, right? We had some code that would, when we clicked up and down or left or right, whatever you want, right, on the screen. So when I click next, it moved to the next picture. And then I wanted to give keyboard input as well. Well, for a keyboard, I want the exact code, right? I want it to go to the next picture if I hit the right key, right? Or the last picture if I hit the left key. Uh, and so I could just use a function to say last picture, next picture, and use that function, call it, ask the computer to run that, what, whether I am hitting the next on the screen or the right key. Or if I'm hitting the last on the screen, or the left key, I want to uh, run my go last picture code. And one, it makes code more straightforward. Function names can be descriptive, right? So if I name it go last picture, they would know, I would know, you would know without even looking at the function what it is, right? It's going to the last picture. Two, it makes computers run a bit faster, uh, especially eliminating redundancy. It can just, it can speed up programs if done correctly. Three, it makes it easier to build larger programs and for other people to understand it. It really just has so many benefits that it's it's overwhelming. So I'm going to write out a short answer of my thoughts and I'll talk about it. All right, so my answer, and again, don't plagiarize, programs can quickly become complex. They can become very long, very fast, especially with multiple people using them. And that's kind of my next point. Pausing to refactor is essential to quality programs. Developers refactor code constantly uh, to make it easier, to make it easier for others, grammar, uh, for others to read their, and use their programs. Right. Especially when you're working with a few people, you got to refactor your code. How are they going to help out if they can't even tell what, you know, what you're writing? It helps eliminate the possibility of programming errors. This is a huge benefit. So not only does it lower the rate of errors and bugs in your program, but if you have them, it makes it easier to solve bugs. So think about that. Less bugs and easier to solve them. That's a massive benefit. Um, create shorter code, well-organized, uh, and shorter, well-organized code benefits all. Yeah, definitely. It definitely is going to benefit all. It also groups code together, right? The organization, it's going to group certain functions together, code that is related, that can be used, that can be pulled off the shelf um, when it is needed, right? When you call it. So encapsulation is a big part of programming too. And I think we'll continue to get more into that. This is my answer. I'm sure you'll come up with your own awesome one yourself. So great. Let's um, keep going.